drop the act. You're both this close to getting a slap. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Whoever darkened my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. Assume nothing. Proceeding. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flayer anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? A devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. Well, that depends on the job. Removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettle is here for you. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection? instead. Very well. Ch 
choose. Sweetness, you going to give me one of those precious peepers? Glorious. One moment, and she needs her real nails for this. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Much better. That human skin is fierce restrictive. bloody think so. Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose which I will it be, right or left. Hold on to your knickers. This might sting a bit. wasn't so bad, was it? That color suits you. No, unless you want tentacles for a tongue, stay absolutely still. I've removed one of these buggers before, but it's a touch tricky. The parasite squirms at the hag's words. Pain builds behind your eye. You feel the creature writhe as it's dragged towards your ear. Then it bites back, burrowing even deeper into your brain. God's damn wretched! You little shit! You didn't tell me it was netherese! I'm not touching that! Filthy shadow magic! brings nothing but chains and misery. How could I have missed that stink? Like blood and piss congealing on my tongue. Someone's tampered with your parasite. That's likely why you've not turned yet. Bless us. Your snow is a wet week. That thing has been touched by more than mind flayers. You're a dead soul walking. I can't help you. What about it? I held up my end of the bargain. It's not my fault the Rickler's tainted by shadow magic. I want nothing to do with you or that scum in your brain. I'd kill you for that. But why deny your Rickler the pleasure? But let it not be said that Auntie Ethel doesn't honor her debts. Here, it's on you to fix yourself. Now get out! Ready at you, Bobby!
This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Art thou certain? A single mortal soul tossed as the errant coin. So it shall be.